I think it's time! I'm about to create my masterpiece. People will be talking about this for generations. I'm using black paper. It'll really make the colors pop. I mean, just look at this yellow. It's a great contrast. Next up, let's go for red. I'll use a pen for this part. Oh yeah, I like how that looks. My work will be finally recognized. Now I think I'll use a green pen. I better get the ink flowing. The things I need to do for my art. But it'll all be worth it. Hmm. There's something quite relaxing about this. Okay, I think that's enough. That's it! Hey Wendy, check it out! Meh, whatever. I think my drawing really captures my mood. I'm so happy! Uh, Wendy? Are you seeing this? Uh-oh. What's happening? Where… where are we? I'm just so happy to be a part of this! It's gonna be so much fun! Isn't it exciting? Look at that! Wow! Can you dial back the enthusiasm? Hang on. Where did that button come from? Hey, little Miss Sunshine. Look at this. Wow! A secret button! I'm gonna press it! No, wait, wait! What's wrong? We don't know what it does. It could be a trap. I'm still gonna press it! Ah! Why would you do that? Ah! Okay, that may have been a bad idea. Do you think so? What gave you that impression? There would be sparks everywhere! We can't let that happen. Hmm. You have a vivid imagination. Wendy, look! What am I looking at? I knew that would work! What?! You pressed the button, didn't you?! I don't regret a thing! <laughs> Let's paint! Ugh, you're so eager. Hmm. Wait a second. Come on, it'll be awesome! What are you doing? Hmm. Hold it right there. I think I've got it. Inspiration has struck. Ooh, what are you painting? I wanna see! Ooh, that's a pretty blue! I'll start by painting a large blue circle. I'm using a sheet of glass instead of paper. Now it's time to switch colors. Now I'll paint a long purple curve. So far so good! Wow. What is it? What is it? Go on, tell me! Back up! Not big on personal contact, huh? Okay, now's my chance. I'll take that. Uh, I don't get it. I'm not finished yet. Hmm, what's it supposed to be? Are you kidding me? Wait, you'll soon find out. Put that sheet of glass onto the easel. You can count on me. I'll place the other sheet on top. That's it? No, there's still more. I'm about to blow your mind. Ta-da! Pretty clever, huh? It's like it's 3D. I could look at it all day. What do you think? Wow! That's amazing! I love it! I thought you would. <laughs> hmm. How am I gonna compete with that? Aha! Uh -huh, I know! I'll start by folding over a piece of black paper. I want to make it into a small rectangle. This looks about right. Then it's time to cut it. What is that supposed to be? Trust me! I know what I'm doing! I think that's it. Take a look! Do you like it? I don't know what it is. How about now? Does it remind you of anyone? It looks like me. Well done. I'm impressed. We did an amazing job! Whoa, not so fast. I think I'll put this over here. I really need a manicure. But this nail polish will have to do. It looks great! Huh? I just chew at my nails. It's cheaper than a manicure and it's a great snack. Jasmine, look! Ooh, pretty! We don't have any art supplies. What are we gonna do? I've got a great idea! It's gonna look great! What are you doing? Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'll use the pen to draw a dress. But it's gonna need some color. That's where my nail polish comes in. Pretty smart, huh? Are you crazy? What? It's just nail polish. Relax. Watch this. I'll dab it onto the paper. It'll act just like paint. I'll start with the top part. I'll make sure I stay inside the lines. Then I'll fill in alternating sections. I'll paint some and leave the others blank. Just like this. It's looking good. I would love a dress like this. It would look amazing on me. It's so unique. I'm glad I've got a steady hand. I'd hate to ruin it now. But I'm not finished yet. I'm gonna need glitter for this next part. I'll pour it over the dress. It'll
it'll add a little sparkle. And that's what we all want in life, right? I'll blow the excess glitter off. And I've created a beautiful dress! Take a look! I'm so proud of it! Yeah, that was a great idea. What am I gonna do? This is tough. Hang on. Maybe it's time to go fishing. Ooh, this looks like a good spot. I think I've got a nibble! What? That's not what I'm after. Hmm. Swim free, little fishy. Let's try this again. Ooh, it's a big one! Aw, oh, come on! An old sock? Ugh, it stinks! Third time lucky! What is this? A roll of tape? This is why I hate fishing. Wait a second. Maybe I can use this. It's worth a try. Yeah. I know what to do. I'll need a small strip of tape. That looks about the right size. I made a quick sketch of an outfit. And I'll stick the tape to the skirt. Now I color in the top. I'll start with this deep shade of pink. I want to create a textured effect. So I'll use different colors to create shadows. I hope it turns out well. Hey, that's not so bad. Maybe I could do this professionally. Jasmine, you need to see this. Wow! It's amazing! We are so talented! <laughs> You'll never guess what happened next! Chris asked me to see a movie with him! Wait, is that pizza? Wow! I love pizza! I suppose it's okay. What? Jasmine? I'm about to cook up a storm! I've got everything I need! Do you just carry that stuff around with you? I can't wait to get started! What topping should I have? Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Uh... Ugh, it's so dusty! Ugh, I look like a ghost! <coughs> you need to be careful! Yuck! There would be flour everywhere! Wait! Not so fast, Jasmine! Huh? What is it? Where… Where did it come from? I have my secret. I'm gonna enjoy this. Wait! I've got a better idea! I'll flip the pizza over onto a piece of paper. Why? Why would you do that? Just wait. I know what I'm doing. That should be long enough. Perfect! That's just what I wanted. The grease has collected onto the paper. It doesn't look like art. Yet. Time to get creative. I'll paint around the grease. I want to make a circle. This is making me hungry. I'll paint another one over here. I feel so inspired. Okay, what's next? Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll go around it with yellow paint. That's it! Art that's good enough to eat. Hmm. Wendy, you'll like this. Oh. Whoa! You did that? That's great. All I've got is the word pizza. Hmm. I'm gonna need more than this. And I think I know what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this'll work. I'm about to transform this pizza into something special. I'll join up the letters. Then draw a slice of pizza around it. I'll need some toppings. And this'll be the hand that's holding it. That is gonna be one tasty slice. My mouth is watering. Speaking of mouths, someone has to eat this. Open wide. Now I can add the other details. Like the eyes. And an arm. That's it. I know you're gonna appreciate this. What do you think? Nom nom nom. Wow! That's so cool! Munch munch! I don't know about you, but I worked up an appetite! I'm so excited for class. I'm not. It's test time. I love tests. Especially when it's art. Ooh, Claire's keen. I'll do a self-portrait. I'll start with the outline. And then I'll color it in. I'll draw at different angles to give the hair texture. This is gonna be so good. This color is perfect for skin tone. Then I'll add details to the clothes. I'll use a white pen to color the eyes. It just makes it look better. Can you do me? Of course I can. Don't move. I'll just follow the same process. I've really nailed the hair. Now it's time to color it in. You're gonna be so happy with this, Leo. It'll be like looking in a mirror. I'll give you some colorful clothes. This is making me happy. Almost done. There you go. Whoa, I love it. Huh? They're ours! Stay back! What? What are you doing? No! You're tearing it! What have you done? What? What's happening? Ugh, sorry, you scared me. 
It's a drawing challenge. Okay. You really suit that look, Claire. I love your lipstick. I could watch you all day. Uh, are you feeling okay? Hmm. You want us to do something symmetrical? I need to impress Claire. How's this for a makeover? You look weird. Oh, I have an idea. Look at that. It's given me a great idea. I'll need these scissors. I'll fold a piece of paper. And then cut a small section from it. I'll fold the paper over and start drawing. I'm gonna draw a blue monster. But I want to do it over the fold. Now I'll open the paper up. And I'll draw in the blank space. I'm gonna draw a human face. Then the body. I'll add some small details. Just like this. Now for the fun part. This is gonna be like the inside of the head. I want it to look like he's stretching. I'll obviously need blue ink. And then flesh-colored ink. I'll use yellow for the crown. This is looking great. I just need to color the last few parts. And I'm finished. If I fold the paper over, it looks like a normal drawing. But it's hiding a surprise. Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna fold the paper over. And I'll draw a love heart. Then I can color it in. I'm using red, obviously. I just need to stay in the lines. Hmm, these gloves feel nice. Once that's done, I can open the paper up. I've sketched a cute couple kissing inside. I like to pretend it's Claire and me. I'll go over the pencil with black ink. I just need to follow the lines. Then I'll add color. I'll give the girl black hair. It's supposed to be Claire after all. I hope she takes the hint. I want it to be perfect. This will be my love letter to her. It looks just like us. Look how happy we are. I'm such a romantic at heart. I can't forget about the mini love heart. That's it! It's so adorable! Just like Claire. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Look what I've got. Watch this, Claire. I think I'm gonna throw up. Maybe we could reenact it sometime? Have a look at this. Aw, that's nice. Ah! Make it stop! Phew, it's over. Ah! I could do this all day. See? Even Thing is laughing. Okay, that's enough. Why? Why would you do that? Come on, I've gotta win! Wait. Look! I won! Seriously? You got a problem with that? Look, Claire. I think they're falling in love. It's beautiful. I hate it. Wait, something's happening! He got dumped. Ooh, a free flower! It smells amazing! Like a summer's meadow. Is this the next challenge? Claire, I want you to have this. Get it out of here. Not a fan of flowers, huh? Only when they're on a grave. Now can I get on with my drawing? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Can you keep it down? I think I'll start with a love heart. Then I'll draw triangles inside. Then I'll draw a loop around the bottom of the heart. It's transformed into a rose. Now I'll draw the leaves. And finally, the stem. I'll use a pencil to add shading. But this rose isn't gonna be red or pink. It's gonna be black. It's the best color. I'll apply more pressure when coloring the outer petals. This will make them darker. She loves me not! Wait! She loves me! It's a sign from the universe. We're supposed to be together. Wow. That gives me an idea. I'll be right back. She loves me not. She loves me. I want that rose. True love depends on it. Wow. Take it, buddy. This is just what I need. And this is what I need. Woohoo! Okay. Just relax. Ahem. <clears throat> Claire? What is it now? This is for you. Hmm. Let me see it. It's pretty. She likes it! Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. I'm done with this. Uh, okay. You wanna see our drawings? Here you go. It's black. Like my heart. I didn't do anything. I guess that's fair. Meh. Like I care. Kiss me, Claire! Never give up. Get out of here. Aw, you're mean. What's it doing? I'm so confused. 
I think it's supposed to be a shadow puppet. Ooh, I love those. It's tragic. That's what it is. Nope. It's not any clearer. It's a dog. Why didn't you say so? Hey, Claire, look! Trick shot! Pretty cool, huh? I know she's impressed. I'm really not. Let's get this over with. What's he doing? I'm gonna draw around my hand! Please stop talking. I'll show you. I'll place my hand on the paper like this. Then I'll draw around it. It won't look much to begin with, but just wait until I add the details. I'll start with an eye. And then a cute little nose. I'll fill it in black. And I'll do the same with the other eye. And I'll do the same with the eye. I'll leave a small white dot. That'll be the light reflection. Then it's time for the fur. And it'll need a collar. We don't want it getting lost. Please stop singing. I'll only sing louder! It's so bad. Drawing a little doggy. I can't take it anymore. You're making me so mad. I'll crush you. Each note is piercing my brain. Make it stop! Ugh. Look at what you've made me do. Hold on. I think I can work with this. I'll start by spreading the chalk dust out. You know, that feels good. It's pretty soothing. I can feel the tension melting away. I'll draw an upside-down love heart, then two small circles, and a triangle. It's already looking like a dog. These will be the ears. I'll give my dog brown fur. This is the easy part. I just need to stay within the lines. I wish every drawing could be like this. It's almost done. Now for a big red tongue. I wish I had a dog. It would be my best friend. We could go for walks all the time. I better focus on what I'm doing. I think I'm done! It looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Come on. I have to win this round. I used my hand as a template. Can you see the resemblance? I can't pick mine up. Yes! I won! I'm the greatest! Nah, nah. Don't push it, Leo. Oops, sorry. Ugh, I'm so angry. What's next? What do you think it is? Sorry for asking. Look, a pretty butterfly. Wow, it's so magical. I wish there was a spider web. Something's about to happen. Thing is catching the butterfly. Is it okay? I hope not. So we have to draw a butterfly? It's so exciting! Stop it. Let's go! I think that's my paper. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on, hand it over. What? No swapping? Listen to the hand! You don't want to mess with it. Hmm. I have an idea. I have a butterfly stencil! Whatever. I'll need my chalk. I'll use the knife to create shavings. And I mix up the colors. I'll work my way across the page. I'll make a rough outline initially. I know this is a little bright and colorful for me, but it'll be over soon. This is the last color I need. Now I need to get my finger dirty. I'll smudge the chalk dust and start to create a butterfly. Then I'll place the stencil on top. That looks about right. Did you really think I wouldn't use black in this drawing? I'll shave the chalk over the stencil. I'll cover the whole page with it. Then I'll smudge it with my finger. It's gonna give a great effect. I'll take my time around the stencil. I'll use my other hand to hold it in place. I don't want to ruin it now. Now I can remove the stencil, but I'm not finished yet. I'll draw something inside the butterfly. It's a tranquil landscape. My turn! I'll place the stencil on the paper. And then I'll draw lines with chalk. I'll work in sections. And then switch colors. I'll do this all the way around. It's gonna look great! I'll go over the chalk. I want it to look so vibrant. I'll hold on the stencil the whole time. One slip and my drawing's ruined. Now I can remove the stencil. Look, it's flying away! It can go here. Now I'll draw a dotted line in the blank space. It'll be the trail of the butterfly. It's so colorful. Just like a butterfly. Here's my drawing. You better like it. Look, Claire! It's a tie! We're both winners! That makes me so happy! Whoa! Look at that! Beat it! I'll repel you with my dance moves! Ooh, nice moves, Claire! I guess we're creating a rainbow. I love rainbows! 
Nope. That's not gonna happen. Anything but that. I can't wait to get started. I'll need my gloves. Things are gonna get messy. I'm gonna keep it simple. Huh? Why are you so animated? What's wrong with a black pen? Get out of the way! I mean it! Stop it! This is getting annoying! You're gonna regret this. I didn't want to do this. But it's your own fault. Don't look at me like that. I warned you. Maybe I can get started now. I'll draw a large cloud. That's just what I want. Now I'll hold it above my head. Ah. That's good. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll cover the page with different colored paint. Then I'll take this love heart puppet. And I'll press it into the paint. I want to make sure it's covered. Then I'll peel it off. Now I can place it onto the canvas. I've covered the canvas in tape, except for the heart. I don't want to mess it up. Now I can lift it off. It's good, but it's not finished. I'll run a brush over it. Wow! Look at that! It gives a great effect! I'll do the rest. I've dipped a toothbrush in white paint. I'll flick it over the heart. Next, I'll dip the base of a glass in white paint. And I'll press a glass in the center. Once it's dry, I can paint a tree on it. Hmm. I'll add some birds. It definitely needed something else. Now I can finish the tree. I'll use the toothbrush for this. It gives the impression of leaves. It's done! I can peel the tape off the canvas. Wow. This is a work of art. I love it! Uh, do you need an umbrella? I'm not finished. That's more like it. You need help. Pick me! Yes! I knew it! I win! Look, Claire. Ow! There's nothing quite like art. It can be expressive, emotional, and sometimes weird. But no matter your opinion, we all need a splash of color in our lives. So let's raid the art supplies and grab our brushes and pens! It's time for a funny color challenge! I wonder what it is. I'm so excited! It's kind of disappointing so far. I know, right? Uh, what's that noise? Surprise? Still nothing. Hello? We're waiting! Whoa! That was pretty cool! Wow! Should we open it? Uh, well, it's mine! Hey! Hand it over! It was my idea! Don't grab! You're so mean, Chris! Ooh, bubbles! I don't care! But they are pretty! Can I try? <laughs> no. Please! It's so fun! Hey, look at that! This gives me an idea! This'll be so good! Start with a canvas. Then use a roller to apply paint. Make sure to cover the whole canvas. Now take a coffee cup and dip it into white paint. And press onto the canvas. Be as creative as you want! Next, start to add color inside the circles. Try to add different colors for a more realistic effect. We're trying to capture the light in the bubbles. This is looking good! And now for some finer details. This turned out amazing! I'm so artistic! Hey, Chris! I have some bubbles of my own! What? Jealous? Can I have it? Let's swap! Give me it! Wow! Huh? Where's the bubbles? It's empty! That's not fair! Oh. <laughs> Did I forget to tell you I used all the bubbles? It's not funny! Okay, time for the next challenge! Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad! Finished! What do you think? 
That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. I've got a good feeling about this one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close. Please don't be bad. No paper. But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow. Or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on! I have an idea too! Don't ruin it! It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Wow, this paint looks so pretty! I'm gonna press a sheet of plastic onto it. Ooh, this is a great stress release. It's like a piece of modern art. Let's try something different. I'll use this window cleaner to spread the paint across the paper. That's definitely going on my wall. How about a wave pattern? I love it! This time, I'll use blobs of paint. I'll run the plastic over it. I'll move it from side to side. There's so many possibilities. And each painting is unique. I could open a gallery. I'm gonna be rich. I'm so bored. Are you kidding? It's snack time! Hmm, let's make things more interesting. Alley-oop! Incoming! Got it! I know, it's impressive. Think you can beat that?
please. I could do that with my eyes closed. Check this out. I'm about to blow your mind. Ugh, my eye! What was that you were saying? Keep practicing. You'll get it eventually. Ahem. I want you to paint a rainbow. And it better be good. I love <laughs> rainbows. I, I don't do colors. Who's laughing now? I can't wait to get started. There's just something magical about them. What are you doing? Oh, he's such a nerd. Annie, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. If I have to. But I only like black. Let's get this over with. If you want a rainbow, I'll give you a rainbow. It'll be the best rainbow ever! I finished! I wanted to capture the beauty of it. Do you like it? We've our very own Van Gogh in class. How's it going, Annie? Ta-da! It's okay. You can hold the applause. You have seen a rainbow, right? Ugh, this class is so stupid! This is what I think of your rainbow! Wait a second. Give me those pens. I'll arrange them in the order of a rainbow. Then I'll need my glue gun. I'll glue the pens together. Then I'll wait for the glue to set. Now it's time to draw. I'll run the pens across the paper. I'll create an arc with them. Wow, this is looking good. The colors are blending together. This is such an easy way to draw. That's it. But I'm not done yet. I used a black pen to draw a rainbow on a plastic wallet. No rainbow? Rainbow. Pretty cool, huh? Now you see it, now you don't. Oh, it's back again. What kind of sorcery is this? Wow, that's amazing! My work here is done. Wait a second. You have a multicolored t-shirt on! Huh? I thought you only liked black. What? No! You didn't see that! Don't say a word or else! My lips are sealed. I've almost finished my homework! This drawing is gonna be great! Really? I wanna see. No, it's still a work in progress. Be patient. It's done and it's beautiful! What do you think? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, what is it? Is it a potato? Hold on, maybe if I squint. Oh, I see it now. It's a duck! What? No? I, I knew that. I need a closer look. Like a really, really close look. Ah, it's so obvious. It's a lemon, isn't it? No, it's not a lemon. Right, I was afraid you'd say that. Hmm, this is tricky. What am I missing? Are you kidding me? Of course, it's obviously a banana. You know, just forget it. I'm sorry, sweetie. What is it? It's Pikachu! Is it? This isn't good. Ooh, I wonder what grade I got. An F? Aw, this is the worst. She would be devastated. But I think I can fix this. I'll place Pikachu right here. Hmm, I'll need to sharpen this pencil. That reminds me. I need to buy a pencil sharpener. Ah, that's better. I'll take another pencil. Then I'll wrap a rubber band around them. I'll do the same at the other end. Now I'll draw around the image. I just need to follow the lines. The second pencil will trace it onto a blank piece of paper. It's so much easier than drawing freehand. There! It looks pretty good. I don't need this anymore. Now I need to add some color. What do you think, Ava? Wow, it's perfect! Thanks, mom! I better get ready for school. I don't want to be late. Have a good day, honey. Go get that A! Oh no! Ava! Wait! I'm so hungry. I need a snack. Hmm, the teacher's busy. This is my chance. I always keep a snack under here in case of emergencies. Ah, there it is. I'll need to be quick. She'll be so mad if she sees this. What's that, Candy? Hey! Uh, just ignore this. You didn't see a thing. Wh what Don't you dare! You can't stop me! That's disgusting, Ava! I'm so ashamed of myself right now. But I don't regret it. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. That didn't satisfy my snack attack. Luckily, I hid these chips. Mmm, these should do the trick. I'll need to hide them. Meh, my pencil holder will do. Just be cool. It's just another normal day. Mmm, that tastes so good. I needed that. Open wide. Oh, that's kind of you. Wait a second. That's weird. I don't have a third hand. <gasps> Hello, Ava. No chips allowed. Do you hear me? 
Oh, I hear you. But you didn't say anything about donuts. What's going on back there? Uh-oh. Divert, divert. I'm watching you. Whatever. I'm too smart for her. Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha! What? Uh, ooh, that's a bad itch. Hmm, something isn't right. She's a crafty one. This calls for some drastic action. I knew this mannequin would come in handy. Now I need to give it a makeover. That's it. Keep looking away. That's what I'm looking for. Mmm, I think I've earned this. It's the most delicious looking donut ever! Pink frosting and sparkles. It's a work of art! Donut, eat that. I mean, do not eat that. I've warned you! No! Wait, you're bald? Give me it. Ugh, this is so unfair. You better not eat it! Let go! Right now, Ava! If you only put this much effort into your schoolwork. No more, got it? Now I have marking to do. Yes, fine. Wait a second. I have a great idea. I'll start by drawing two small circles. Then I'll join them up. I'll do the same on the top half. Next, I'll draw a wave pattern. I'll do this all the way across. Then on the top half. Once I've sketched it in pencil, I can go over it with a pen. This'll make it stand out. It's just a case of following my rough drawing. I won't make any mistakes. It looks just like a donut! I can use an eraser to get rid of the pencil. Then I'll color it in. I'm only filling in the section inside the wavy lines. This'll be the frosting. Mmm, my mouth is watering. Next, I can color the donut. I'm using a dark orange for this. I'll use a correction pen for the sprinkles. I'll dab it over the frosting. Then I'll add some shadowing. It's just a case of going around the edges. I'll do the same with the sprinkles. It makes it look more realistic. I think that's it! Now for stage two. It's time for the old switcheroo. You're mine, donut. And I'll leave the drawing in the box. Huh? Who's there? I'm sure I heard something. Hmm. What? Is something wrong? I'm reading my book. Okay, but I'll be keeping my eye on you. Who knew books would be so useful? It's great for hiding my donut! Hurry along. Get to your next class. They're all gone at last. I've been looking forward to this. Wait. What's going on? This isn't a donut! I've been tricked! Ava! I love art class! Wow, that looks amazing! Time to add some color. I've got something special in here. Oh, wow! These paints will really finish off my drawing. I'll start with some green paint. I just need to stay within the lines. I want to create a rainbow effect. It's going to look great. I mean, it's a masterpiece. It's wonderful! Whoa! You did that? Uh, my paintbrush has seen better days. Oh well, it's the only one I've got. I better get on with it. I have an interesting idea for an art project. Hey, Lizzie, I need to paint you. <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh, what have you done? My beautiful hair! You monster! Girl, stop! I mean it! Uh, what's happening? Let's mm -hmm. spin the wheel. I want you to draw a blonde girl. A blonde girl? This is tricky. Hold on. I think I know. Uh, Lizzie? Okay, okay. I'll be your model. Great. Don't move. What are you doing? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'll draw an outline of your face. Just stay still. Mmm, this is tricky. You've got green eyes, right? Ooh, this is a lovely shade of lipstick. And I'm done. Wow. It's so good. I've really captured your essence. Are you kidding me? Do I really look like that? I obviously need to put on more makeup. I'm so talented. I should draw portraits for a living. Phew, that feels better. Hmm. Wait a second. I have an idea. Hey, struggling artist, get in here. Please don't call me that. My name is Jeff. Let's get this over with. Yes, yes, I'm inspired. Behold my creation. Oh wow, thanks. But I still need to color it. I'm not gonna use paint. I'll start by placing a stencil over the drawing. And then, I need my makeup and a small palette knife. I'll use the palette knife to scrape the makeup. I want to form a powder. I'll do the same on the other shades. I don't need a lot. Then I'll sprinkle it over the stencil. I'll let the colors mix. And use my hand to smear them. It creates a great effect. That looks so cool! 
Wow, I'm so happy with it. Really? You think that's art? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll soon find <laughs> out. Huh? Oh, right. That is nightmare fuel, Naomi. But at least you tried. Lizzie, so colorful and imaginative. Are you seeing this? Lizzie wins. Yes, I knew it! I thought it was supposed to be a blonde girl. Well, now what? Hello up there? Oh, of course. The next round is origami. Pew! Origami? Okay. Good thing I carry paper with me at all times. Just kidding, my butler gave it to me. I prefer paper that's actually worth something. And gold's even better. Here you go. Whoa. Is that real? I'd better get to work. Alright, here goes nothing. Things are getting hot in here. Whoa! It turned to gold! But why stop there? In you go. Phew! Oh gosh! Yep, it definitely worked. Fantastic! Mwah! Miss Betty? Thanks, chef. I wonder if I have some paper lying around. It's not gold, but it'll do. Ready to witness some magic, guys? Yikes. That paper is so wrinkled. Hilarious, I know. But I can turn things around. Just can't leave it on too long. Good as new! Whatever. I've got other things to worry about. Just a few careful folds, and this will look anything like a piece of paper. Now just draw a couple of marks here. It looks strange now, but it'll all make sense at the end. Recognize it yet? It's only the prettiest girl in the world! Huh? Just be patient, will you? I just have a few more lines here. Now for the same thing on this side. Just keep folding flats up and drawing in the blanks. There. All done. If you say <laughs> so. Color, please. Now she can dance. See? I can make all her limbs move. I can't compete with that! Or can I? Just make a fold up top, and again in the other direction. And keep going all the way down. Then draw a straight line here. Then keep it going down this way. Then close it so it's a square. Can you tell what it is yet? And in here, draw a little bunny! How cute is this thing, come on! And he needs a little bear friend! Adorable, right? Don't forget to color things in! Orange and blue always pop! Now for our animal friends! The colors really bring them alive! One last thing. Then fold the paper down. Ta-da! All done! This is tough. But that ballerina… You win! Well, what about my cute creation? Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. 
Why can't I paint a stupid flower? All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this! Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Oh, my sweet, sweet good boy. So handsome. In fact, why don't you two draw him? Now! Oh, it's on! And I'm a doggy expert! It's just a head, body, and four legs. But this looks a little dull, doesn't it? Ugh! Let me try this again. I think bigger's the way to go. Ugh, still bad. Hmm. Nope. Still awful! Go! Oh! Hey! Huh? What? Calm down! Hey, I think I have an idea! I can use my hand as a guide. Because once I have the outline down, I can get creative with all the details. Trust me, this is gonna turn out awesome. See? Now all that's left is some color. And this good boy is giving chocolate brown vibes. Can't forget that pink tongue! A doggy trademark! Ta-da! Like what you see? The resemblance is uncanny! And yours? Uh, Annie? What?! <gasps> no drawing? That means you've won, Miss Emma! Ooh, these look delicious! Thank you! Chocolate doggies! I'm starting with this one. Looks good. Mmm, so creamy. No fear! <laughs> Calm down, dear. Just take one. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Time for the spinner again. Huh. All right, there it goes. It's spinning once more. Looks like it chose a starry sky. I know! Where's the paint? I need to get started! The paint is ready and so is my brush! Time for art! Okay, I'm gonna start with this black color. I want to paint a streak. Now for a glob of blue right below. And then more globs of purple, blue, white, yellow, and orange. Now I'm just gonna get to brushing the paint from side to side. It's creating a sort of ombre effect. Okay, let me keep going here with the yellow. Great, that looks good. And then I'll do more black down here. I think maybe I want some structures in my skyline, too. A little fence is nice, right by this tree. I don't want bare branches, though. Some dabs will create leaves. Oh, very nice. I guess maybe I should just start and see what happens. Blue it is! And maybe some more blue, too! 
yeah! I like all these dark colors. They're fun! All right, paintbrush. You ready to get to work? Whoa! I really love how these brush strokes are turning out! Ooh, look at that paint getting pushed across the canvas! There we go! All the way down to the edge. Whoa! Ah! Paint is getting all over my canvas! <gasps> Wait a second! This looks amazing! Hey, look at my canvas! I'm done with my starry sky! Yes, I can see that. Yours is absolutely delightful! Yes! Thank you so much! You definitely deserve it! Ooh, this is exciting! A unicorn! Hmm, this might be tricky. I'm going for the pens. I don't know, so many options. Paint… Or pens. Pens! I think this is the right choice. Okay, here goes! Oops! My pen slipped! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, it slipped. Okay. You're so immature. Let me help improve your drawing. Don't you do that again. I warned you. I improved it. Oh, you missed the spot. I'll help you color it in. Gah! This is pointless. Take that! Quit it! Stop it! We could do this all day long. Take some more paper. Fine, but I'm facing this way. I'm gonna draw the best unicorn ever. Got it! U. N. I. C. O. R. N. Now I just need to join it up. I'll give it a nice hairstyle. Can't forget the legs. All I have to do now is color it in. Pink will be the perfect color. I think this will win. I wish I had a real unicorn. All that's left is the tail. Done! That was easy. Ta-da! Oh no! Here's my drawing. It's good. Well done. I wonder who won this round. <laughs> well, I'm shocked. Yes! What the prize? Please be a real unicorn. I can live with that. This won't do. Too small. Let me see. Aha! That looks so tasty. Maybe I could try a little piece. She won't notice. This is what I need! Stand back! This is about to get messy! You didn't! Sorry! I tripped, Jana! Uh, landed on the cake! I saved you some! You're unbelievable! I offered… Okay, let's spin this wheel again. Aw, would you look at that! You got dog this time! I know what I'm gonna do. It's in my hat! What? A rubber chicken? Where did this come from? I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, is this what I need? Nah, I don't really play that much anymore. Come on, this hat can't be that big. <clears throat> is that a quarter? Is that what you were looking for? Oh, there's one for me too! Don't mind if I do! Phew, who knew my hat could hold so many things? Okay, I need this pen. I don't get it, what are you doing with your coin over there? I'm using it as a tracing guide. I need a couple of circles. I don't get it. Wait, I know what to do! I hope you're all working hard over there. Okay, I'm gonna need my hoodie pulled over my head. I'll be right back. Hey there, how about I give you this and you lend me your dog? Thanks! Oh my gosh, who's a cute little good boy? <sighs> my name is Patrick. Smile! I just need to get a couple of photos of you. You're so cute! You could be a model! Eee! Here you go, thanks so much! Got my oval colored in except for that circle. I've added those little lines and dots. Now to draw his head. And some eyes, too. He's really starting to come together. Can't forget his ears, of course. A doggy needs his ears. And a body, too. And finally, his tail. Now to color him in. I think his ears need to be a brown color. And his feet and cheeks. Done! Phew! I made it back and no one noticed I was gone. Just gonna finish up right here. <laughs> Teacher, I'm done! Here's my picture of a dog! I'm done, too! Oh my gosh, look at that cute little angel face! You win! She didn't even draw that! Oh, are you waiting on me? Let's spin the wheel. This is so much fun! Okay, a rainbow. I need lots of paint. That should be easy enough. It's just drawing a curve. Okay, this is harder than I thought. Ugh! That didn't go well. 
Actually, maybe I can use that. I think I've got it! I'll take a strip of paper and fold it like this. Now I'll draw a cute little face. Now for the eyes. I'm liking this so far. I'm feeling so creative! Hey, careful! Oops. It'll probably improve your drawing. Okay, now for some color. I don't want to color the eyes yet. This pink is so bright. I should get nail polish this color. The collar can be yellow. And the eyes can be green. What a happy looking cat! It even has a rainbow smile! I'll show Molly. Boo! It's so funny! Uh, I better clean up the paint Sarah spilled. This is making it worse. Wait. I can use this! What a great idea! I've painted this canvas blue. I can use the sponge to make a white cloud. Now I'll let orange paint run down. I'll do the same with different colors. There! All done! Hey, watch the face! Teacher, look at this! Oh, let me see, Molly. It's so unique and colorful. It's beautiful. Boo! Wow! So playful, Sarah. I'm proud of you both. You deserve a reward. We did amazing, Sarah! Here I go. Ugh. Shoot, I missed. Here, let me try. Ugh. Boo, I missed too. Just gotta aim. It really shouldn't be this hard to get one in. Whoa, what the heck? Look what it's doing! <gasps> it's totally drawing a picture in that artwork! Ooh, that's not good. Oh no, the teacher is here! Hmm, what's going on in here? Ugh, what happened to that piece of art? That's it! Art power and go! Whoa, no way! Look at us! Wait, lipstick? Oops, sorry about that. I can fix it. There. <laughs> Much better. All right, we're totally ready to tackle a drawing challenge! I'll spin the wheel and see what you'll be facing. There we go. Oh, how sweet! A heart. Time to draw love! Yay! I love drawing hearts and love stuff! I know what I'm gonna do. I'll start with the word love. Hmm. Wow, that was a great day. She was so beautiful in that meadow. Okay, now to really zazz this picture up. I'll add a little heart and then turn the O into a girl. The V can be another heart, and the E can be the person she likes. So cute! But it needs more color. This heart should be pink. Good. And the little one up here should match too. Okay, now for some more colors. A purple dress. Wow! This is really turning into something special! Time to switch colors. Yellow for their hair. They match! And I think he's wearing a blue hat. Time for some green on his shirt. No, I love you the most. These colored pencils will help give them expressions. Ta-da! All right, students. Let's see your artwork, please. Uh, huh? What? Oh no! Ew. Keep the gum in your mouth, please. Um, what are you doing? Uh, just wait. This is my artwork, I promise. I just need one more moment. Almost done. I'm done! There. Here's my artwork showing love. Phew. Whoa! How did you even do that? Amazing! Oh my goodness! That is very impressive! Hi, Marks! Ah, what's next? At least all my utensils are ready. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Yes! Huh? Who's that? Oh! Whoa! Cool! Let's do it! I'm suddenly inspired. And emojis means having fun with shapes. I make a mean circle. Aha! I could use a little extra help. Nothing like a fresh jar of paint. Hey! What's the deal? You don't even care, do you? Wow, she's unbelievable. Psh. Huh. That's interesting. Wait a minute. I'm gonna do this a new way. Get in there, yellow paint. Perfect. 
Now here's where the fun begins. Fill her up! Ooh, look at them go! Can you guess what I'm making? An emoji, remember? It's definitely different! Hey, Wendy! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Not sure it can be this thing. I know, it's awesome. Oh, I wish I thought of that.